What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 36 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that triangle XYZ with vertices X, Y, and Z, and it gives us their coordinates, will be rotated 180 degrees about the origin. And we're trying to figure out what the coordinates are going to be of Y prime, the new Y. Now, in order to do a question like this, you'll need to know about rotating a figure on a graph. So let me actually go ahead and bring out my graphing board and zoom out a bit. Okay. Here's my X axis and my Y axis. And it's for this reason, X axis and Y axis, that I actually don't like the, the problem called the points X, Y, and Z. I think that can end up confusing people, but I'll go ahead and draw the actual points anyway. I've got a point right here at 1, 1, and that's point X. I've got another point at X of 3, Y of 5, which would put me right about here, and that's point Y. And now, for point Z, that's an X of 5 and a Y of 1. So if I fill in the three sides of this triangle, All right, there is my original triangle. Now I have to think about what it means to rotate this, and specifically what it means to rotate it 180 degrees about the origin. Essentially, what I'm doing when I rotate is I'm turning it around, no duh. But mathematically speaking, that means that I'm actually taking this point and I am rotating it so that now my marker was pointing in this direction and I'm rotating it now so that my marker points in this direction so completely the other way, and I'm keeping the same distance away from the origin. So I'll use red for the new triangle's points. That actually puts me right here. Now, if you're already trying to figure out the coordinates of this, I'll tell you right now, x prime, the new x, is at negative 1, negative 1, whereas original x was just at 1, 1. So we've taken both these numbers and made them negative. That seems a little weird. Let's go ahead and try the same thing with point Z and point Y. And point Z, my marker would point this way. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it like this. And actually, that puts me right about here at an X of negative 5 and a Y of negative 1. So I'll go ahead and draw that point here. So this is Z prime where my new x is negative 5, my new y is negative 1. So once again, we see that we've just taken our x and y numbers and made them both negative. We started at 5, 1. Now we're at negative 5, negative 1. And so let's see if my y point is going to do the same thing. Points this way and gets me here. I rotate that around and it gets me down here, sort of. So the tip of my marker is kind of here, and I can see from looking at that that now, instead of an x of 3 and a y of 5, we now have an x of negative 3 and a y of negative 5. And just to show that we rotated this correctly, here's my new triangle. It looks just like that one, except we took the whole thing and turned it around halfway. Now, since I now know the coordinates of my new y, also known as y prime, negative 3, negative 5, I'm going to look for that in my answer choices. And what do you know? It's, oops, let me scoot that up. That's choice B. x of negative 3, y of negative 5. We just took our x and y's and made them negative. That is the standard way that we rotate 180 degrees.